Hey yo, what up everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Nutshack here, bringing y'all advice on how to be fucking hip, how to be fucking cool. Now I'm sure y'all know that in this internet age, you, you gotta stay ahead. You gotta hop on every train that there is. You all know that. And I'm just, I'm just here to tell you about the new train that I'm the conductor of. I'm starting it. Cartoons are fucking hot these days. They're hot, like a, like a frying pan, while it's got some eggs on it, right? It's fucking hot. They're hot, juicy cartoons, all right? And all y'all out there being like, oh, I, I already got my, my Steven Universe. I already got my, my, my Gravity Falls. Get that shit out of here, man. Get that shit out of here. Yo, man, man, get, get, get that shit out of here. Man, 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 get, get, get Get that shit out of here. Y'all know what the true fucking game is these days, and I'm starting it. It's the motherfucking nut check. I'm gonna go down in the test books, all right, for the first nut checker. I'm beginning the nut checker community, all right? Y'all might not be familiar with this, but let me break it down for you. All y'all dumbass Adventure Time fans out there, y'all dumbass fucking bronies out there, y'all dumbass fucking... Johnny Testers, all right? I'm here with the Nut Shack, the motherfucking Nut Shack. The Nut Shack is the hottest fucking cartoon of 2016, and it was out in fucking 2007. That's right, we're going back to the motherfucking past on this one, y'all. That's what we're doing. The Nut Shack's coming around, it's gonna kick y'all in the fucking ass. You think those other fucking shows are hip? The Nut Shack is fucking hip. So I advise y'all to relax and get yourselves prepared for the motherfucking nut shack. Cause that's what this video is. It's the motherfucking nut shack. Jesus fucking Christ, what the fuck am I doing? Hey guys, so uh, there's been this meme floating around recently where you know they take the, uh, the intro to the show called the nut shack and they replace the titular phrase with uh, something else. Now, uh, you know, the memes on life support, it's, it's a dying meme. If it's not already dead, it's, it's a dying meme. Um, but, uh, you know, while it was going on, I had this brilliant idea. I was like, damn, I'm going to capitalize on this meme. I'm going to watch all of the Nut Shack, and I'm going to review the whole thing. Well, two and a half weeks and a dead meme later, I finally finished the show. And believe me, I could have finished this thing like a week or two ago. And, you know, the review would have been on time. But this show, this abomination, this living abortion of entertainment completely drained me. It took everything I had to finish the Nut Shack. And, you know, it was all fun and games at first. For about, for about three episodes, it was kind of funny. It was like, wow. This is really bad, that's kind of funny. But after that, it just, it killed me. And, and I really, I really did not want to watch more. But I did it. I survived. And even though the meme is dead, I'm going to review The Nut Shack. I am going to finish what I started because God damn it, if I don't, I wasted my fucking time. The Nut Shack was touted as the first Filipino-American cartoon. And this is really a shame because now when any Filipino-American team gets together to make another cartoon, the Nut Shack has them beat. And I just like to say, if there are any Filipino-Americans watching this video right now, I don't blame you for this. I would never place the burden on something like this to anybody but the people who made it. So this show aired on Mix TV, and I don't even know what the fuck that channel is, I've never heard of it, but somehow the show ran for two seasons despite overwhelmingly negative reception. Like, it's widely renowned as one of, if not the worst, animated shows of all time. But it got a second season. Fuck me. Now, season one actually has a DVD release, and I'm definitely going to be adding this to my current cartoon collection to really create a holy trinity. So this show uh, is flash animated, 
And uh, it really looks like one of those like early Newgrounds flash animations, except like even worse. But I mean, you know, it's fine because, you know, flash animations, you know, is garbage anyway, and you can't make anything good out of it. Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, never mind. The nutshack's just shit. The animation is so bad. I seriously could not believe my eyes as I was watching the pilot episode of this show. It is appalling. Like, you'd almost have to try to make something that looks this bad. The character designs range from boring and overly simple to overly complex and ugly. And nobody moves like a fucking human being in this show! It's like watching aliens try to make a show about humans. Like, they, what, what is that? What, what is that? And not only that, but sometimes they try to like shoot it from different angles, but the character designs don't change to fit the new perspective. So it just looks like a bunch of puppets in front of pre-rendered backgrounds. And look, I get it, that's what most Flash animation is, but a good show would, I don't know, fucking try to make everything fit together so the characters at least look like they're a part of their fucking environments. I mean, if you're going to shoot it from a different angle, then at least put the fucking effort in and make it look good. Because otherwise, like, why even bother? You're just wasting your time. And they repeat so many fucking animations in this show. And it's always painfully obvious when they do. Like, there's this one animation clip of Phil walking towards the camera, and he's walking like this. Like, I think this was the only animation cycle they made for Phil walking towards the camera. And like, the characters' mouths don't even sync up to their words right. Like, their mouths just kinda open and words come out. Jesus fuck, it's so amateur. Like, if I'm gonna watch your cartoon, one of the key expectations I have is that my eyes don't hurt while I'm watching it. But like, everything just looks so goddamn ugly! The color palette? It's just a bunch of ugly grays and browns, and it just looks so fucking bad. Like, this show just makes me want to fucking vomit, Jesus. But it's not just the animation. Nothing about this show is good. Like, I actively tried to find even one thing that I could praise. And the only thing I can really think of, and it's not even really a positive, is that the show does improve as it goes along. I mean, it goes from being the worst fucking thing I've ever seen to still being the worst fucking thing I've ever seen. But, you know, better than it started out, I guess. So let's talk about the premise, because, you know, every cartoon needs a premise. I mean, fuck, every TV show needs some sort of premise. And and the Nut Shack's uh, got, a, got a premise. So in the Nut Shack, Phil lives with his uncle Tito Dick. Dick man, baby! And, like, his cousin Jack flies in from the Philippines to live with them. And then, like, also there's this girl named Cheetah, who, according to the intro, is Da Frica Da Wica. And since I haven't mentioned it, the theme song is fucking horrible. I mean, you all know that. Like, you're watching this video, you already know that, so, like, whatever, but Jesus. Anyways, Cheetah's only defining character trait is that she's hot, and, like, Phil calls her a bitch a lot, but I'm never really sure why. Also, Jack wants to bang her. And here's something that really confuses me. So in this show, Jack is portrayed as like a bumbling idiot, like your stereotypical fat idiot in these cartoons. But for some reason, he was able to engineer a robot Tarsier named Horatio. Like, what? His ability to build things is only mentioned in the fact that he built Horatio and knows how to fix him. Other than that, it has no relevance to anything. It doesn't even make any sense because Jack's a fucking moron. Like, I don't even get it. And speaking of Horatio, this is the most annoying cartoon character I have ever seen in my entire fucking life. Horat is so obnoxious, and you can't even understand what he's saying, so they gave him fucking subtitles. It's like, guys, if the voice acting in your character is so bad that you need to subtitle it, you might be doing something wrong. And I understand that it's pitch shifted, but if pitch shifting it makes it completely incomprehensible, then don't pitch shift it! Oh, and also Horat grabs Cheetah's breasts a lot, so, you know. And like, I don't even know what kind of character Tito Dick is supposed to be. Like, I think he's supposed to be some kind of womanizer, but 
At least that's the impression I get, but the show never actually explores that, like, really. And, uh, really all I know about him is that he says, boy, a lot. That's, that's all I know. And, oh my god, every character except Cheetah is so fucking obnoxious. And it's all in the voice acting. Phil's voice is so goddamn grating, and he's the main character of the show. Like, there was one episode where he goes to find his long-lost father, and I thought they were gonna try to characterize him and make me care for him, but nope. He's just obnoxious. And, like, Jack is just an idiot. Like, I don't like any of these characters. I mean, yeah, Cheetah's not obnoxious, but there's nothing to her. Even in a shitty adult animation, like Family Guy, they still try to characterize the characters to make you fucking care for them. You know, at least sometimes. But here, I just hate all of them, and my opinion's only reaffirmed with each episode. Oh, the episodes. You know what? Well, let's talk about those. Go to the Wikipedia article list of the Nutshack episodes and just read some of these plot lines. They fucking, they speak for themselves. An elderly woman rides around town selling Balut, and Phil hates it. Two ducks, Swoop Duck and Two Quack, fly around and poop on everybody. Phil and Horat are angry because the town ran out of weed, so the gang sets out to find the Holy Grail, which is said to be a legend. However, Bob Saget stops them on the way. Phil must train his penis in order to take on Jean-Claude Van Damme in a deadly battle to the finish. Trust me, they're as bad as they sound. The pilot episode is easily the worst. I mean, it is so god-awful. Like, the plot line is hard to follow. None of the jokes make sense. It's like... God! The animation is the worst it ever is in the show, in the pilot. And, you know, I guess that's expected, you know, for the first episode of a cartoon to have the worst animation, but... You know, th that you still want to make a good first impression, like it should still be fucking at least decent, for Christ's sake. Like, even if the animation's gonna get better, the first episode can't get excused for just looking like absolute utter dog shit. The scene on the plane is so terrible. Like, Jack's sitting down, and then Horat throws shit at the stewardess, and so a fat Hawaiian guy jumps on top of Jack. And th that's it. The sound effects, by the way, are consistently fucking awful. Like, Johnny Test levels of bad. No, no, fuck it. Worse than Johnny Test. I would rather the constant whip crack from Johnny Test over any of the sound effects they selected for the Nutshack. Like, most of them are stock sound effects, and they never line up in the episodes quite right. Like, never. And the music is all complete ass. I'm not sure if it's stock or if they made it, but it sure fucking sounds stock. This show is just sensory overload. Like, I didn't even know you could contain this much awful in one cartoon. Anyway, the rest of the pilot introduces all of the characters in this awful car ride sequence that looks fucking awful. I mean, you know, like the rest of the show. Really, the first three episodes all kind of blend together because they basically suffer from the same problems. Whoever wrote these and whoever edited these obviously had no concept of comedic timing. All of the jokes don't work because there's no structure to them. I mean, at least later in the show, they started to try to time their jokes, but like they're still awful because they're just atrocious jokes as far as comedy goes. I mean, all humor requires some sort of cleverness or wit. Even dumb humor requires wit. This show has absolutely none. How could a show where Bob Saget steals everyone's weed possibly have wit? There are so many celebrity references in this show, and none of them make sense or have any point. Like, why does George W. Bush build a racist robot? Why do Tupac and Snoop Dogg as ducks shit on everybody? And like, they poop on Tom Cruise as he's exiting a Church of Scientology? Because he's a Scientologist? I mean, fuck, even Family Guy has more thoughtful celebrity jokes than this show. Like, they're not even jokes, they're just references. But don't worry, when the Nutshack isn't making dated pop culture references, it's trying to be as offensive as humanly possible. And it's really bad at it. Like, I see when it's trying to be racist, sexist, homophobic, and everything else, but like, most of it doesn't even make any sense. Like, the racist jokes are just characters 
different ethnicities who have accents and act obnoxious. But everybody acts obnoxious! Everyone's a stereotype and not all of them are even supposed to be offensive. So like, I don't even get where the offense is supposed to be taken from. I mean, when I'm confused about how to be offended by your over-the-top, obviously offensive cartoon, like, you, you're, you're, you're doing worse than a fucking frog could do, alright? A fucking frog could offend me more than this show does. It's just fucking annoying! There's no moments of peace in the nut shack because every fucking character is annoying! Well, I mean, except Cheetah, but we don't get a Cheetah episode. At least that might be kind of tolerable. You know, at least I wouldn't want to blow my brains out watching that, but no, every time she's here, she's with a bunch of other obnoxious characters. I think that Cheetah is supposed to be the straight man in this routine, but if that's the case, then she's a straight man surrounded by an entire cast of funny men. Or unfunny men. Like, that balances it way out of her favor. And, and, like, there's nothing interesting about her. Not like there's anything interesting about anybody else, but still. A few episodes try to break things up by being, like, totally different. And on the surface, this sounds like a good thing because it would break the monotony. And it does do that. But it's not really in, like, a positive way. Like, a guy walking in the middle of a daycare center and whipping his dick out might break the monotony of the workday for the caretakers. But, um, it's not really gonna leave a positive impact, you know? That's what these episodes are to me. You've got Blind Dick, which is supposed to be like a martial arts movie where Tito Dick, like, goes around um, getting revenge on everybody after he saves a rape victim. And it's just fucking awful. There's also the episode TT Boy and Kidu Tut, where uh, Phil and Jack are superheroes and, like, Phil has a giant cock and um, Jack farts on people. And, like, they try to stop Tito Dick from, you know, impregnating all the women by manufacturing birth control pills that make them pregnant. Like, that- I don't even need to go any further. That plot synopsis is the best critical analysis that could be offered for this episode. It just speaks for itself. This show does actually get, like, really violent in a few episodes, but it's just fucking terrible. They think that if they just splatter blood everywhere, it'll make the fights interesting. But it's just obnoxious. Like, everything else. For example, the episode Slasher, like, really tries to be grotesque. Like, they murder everyone in the most brutal ways they can think of, usually off-screen. But you're just left wondering why. Like, why even do that? Is it supposed to be funny? Because it's not nearly ridiculous enough to be funny. But it's also not, like, real enough, or even gross enough to be scary or disgusting. And if it is supposed to be that, then why go for such a distinct tonal change in the middle of the series? Like, the episode just feels so derailed from the tone of the show, but not to enough of an extent where, like, you can say that that was the point. Also, the episode El Bombadero has some really over-the-top violence, and it's just fucking horrible. Like, they actually kill Jack and Phil, but then they just bring them back to life. And, like, this would be fine if there wasn't gonna be an overly long fight scene, but because there is, it just feels like a deus ex machina. And I just want to mention these fights. There are a few in the series, and none of them have any direction. Things just happen in the fights. There's no natural progression to these fights that would make them funny, or engaging, or exciting, or even remotely watchable. Take the fight in Bomb China Part 2, or Ning Ping Part 2, whatever the fuck the episode's called. There are two giant robots fighting. Like, it would take effort to make that lame. But this show manages it because the fight just keeps going and you don't feel like it's actually going anywhere because there's no structure to it. And when the protagonists win, they just kind of do. Like there's no build up to their victory. They don't get beaten down just to get back up and defeat their attacker, you know, like a normal fight would be or something that feels fun. They just deliver a final blow with no build up and it just like, you don't feel any happiness it's just like, thank god that was over, and that's about it. And don't even get me fucking started on the series finale. This episode is so goddamn boring. Because, like, half the episode is one big fight, and it suffers from the same problem. And it's just like, and Jesus! The Chode Warrior has this issue as well, except Phil and Jean-Claude Van Damme become dicks when they start fighting. It's, it's just as terrible as it sounds. I mean, at least in season two and late season one, like, I can actually tell what's supposed to be going on in the plots, because for the first few episodes, like, you can't even fucking follow what's going on. 
Like in Duck Karma, I swear they just forgot about certain things. Like there's this red hourglass symbol that's shown a lot in the episode, and like there's even this rabid dog at one point that has a red hourglass on them, and like the duck versions of Tupac and Snoop Dogg give birth to a red hourglass egg, so you think it's gonna have some relevance, but it's never explained what this is, and it's not even fucking hinted at. Like, it's like they just forgot about this thing. Like, what was that even supposed to be? I, I don't even know. It's just so fucking confusing. If I had to pick the episode I liked the most, and believe me, that's not saying much, I'd probably say Got Surgery. At least this episode seems like it's trying to make a point. Granted, that point never really gets across, and I'm kind of just confused. It seems to be anti-plastic surgery, but it doesn't really do a great job of conveying that. I mean, either way, it's fucking awful, but you know. There's a two-parter episode here, and it's what almost made me give up. Like, I watched the first part of this, and no joke, after that, I took a week-long break. I just could not bring myself to watch 30 more minutes of that. It is so bad. There's this Chinese man named Ning Ping who hates Filipinos because they stole all of his girls. And then there's like also this like counselor Chinese man who keeps giving him PTSD flashbacks about Filipinos. And like Ning Ping wants to enslave all the Filipinos. But then it turns out that the counselor was actually George W. Bush and he was using Ning Ping to build a racist robot to turn everybody white. What? And, and yeah, that's actually the fucking plot of this two-parter. It, do it doesn't make any sense! It's so fucking terrible! I despise this show. I despise this show more than I have ever despised any entertainment in my entire life. Like, normally bad things can be kind of entertaining because they can fulfill that morbid curiosity in all of us. You know, as we laugh at how bad it is. But there is no fun to be had in the nut shack. Not ironically, nor unironically. Like sure, the intro theme song is really funny, like that is actually really funny, you can see why it became a meme a while ago. But nothing else about this show is like that. It is a challenge to sit through one fucking episode of this putrid, rotten, unfiltered pile of absolute fucking shit. Fuck this show. Seriously. Fuck this show. I wasted valuable fucking time of my life watching this pile of dog shit. I'll never get that back. Do not watch The Nut Shack. Like, maybe watch one episode, just so you can kind of see how bad it is. And you might even enjoy that, because like I said, it was fun for a little while. But never, and I really mean never, attempt to do what I did. Do not try this at home, kids. Don't even sit through one season, let alone two. Go watch a good cartoon and save yourself the effort. Seriously. The Nut Shack is the worst thing I have ever seen. And that's all I have to say. Bye, guys. It's the Nut Shack. All right, so actually before we go, um, I can prove to you guys that this show sucks and that nobody likes it um, just by doing this. Seriously, I can prove to you. Just look at this. Check this out. Oh, oh god damn it!